All right, let's uh, get up on the boat. There's a, this is a 13 foot whaler dauntless. There's a lot more information on that on the, the link. If you're interested in what these are, I chartered uh, two whaler 21s of Montauk and, and one of these, and this is the one I kept. So that should tell you something about that. Okay, we've got our GPS going. All right, this is a Garmin 541S, same thing that we navigated the mischief with from Florida all the way up to uh, Maryland. And this is the page that it fires up to, and you're going to do the same thing with your GPS unit. You're going to, no matter what manufacturer, you're going to come down, you're going to look for your configure page. You're going to, on this one, we hit select come down to preferences we're going to select that we're going to look for units we're going to select that and let's see we've got position now we right now we've got heading in minutes and seconds and a number in minutes and seconds let's just go ahead and go to that all right a heading in minutes and seconds is one like we would get off of our marine chart that we were looking at upstairs okay if uh, they just come off the side 28 degrees 40 minutes and then we're gonna figure out in here what the seconds are and that's what this number right here would be uh, 82 42 60 so that's 82 degrees 42 minutes 60 seconds now what I'm doing here is I'm trying to match up a a Google number that I've seen on satellite Earth with my GPS and you'll notice that that number has five decimal places which matches up to that top classification. All I have to do is click on that top uh, button and all of my numbers are now converted into that. Same with Loran TD. See that down at the bottom? Now if I have Loran numbers, I would just click on that. All of my waypoints will now present as Loran TDs. And if I click on my waypoint, enter waypoint, I'll enter my Loran TD. It'll show up on the screen. And if I want to convert all of that back into regular Loran numbers, you see that third one is in degrees, minutes, seconds, same as on a chart, always wise to view information in that because on your chart you can quickly figure out where you are by plugging in a number. Um, but all you have to do to convert things into any other format is simply go to your position format and click what you want, what you want to see on the screen. No need to order expensive software or spend hours and hours trying to figure this out with uh, pen and paper. It's all right there on your unit if you just know which screen to go to. And I understand why people don't because it's not well explained in any of the literature in any of the manufacturer's uh, products. Pass this on to a buddy. Chances are if you're viewing this you've already asked and they didn't have a clue how to do it. So there you are. Good luck with your fishing, flying, uh, gold hunting, whatever you're watching us do. And uh, hope to see you in the future sometime. Okay, let's select that. All right, I want to edit that waypoint because it's empty. See that 28, everything else is empty. All right, we're going to select that. The name is test, the symbol, depth, all that stuff, and the position I'm going to select. And I'm going to enter, I'm not going to use the chart for where we're at on the chart and press uh, mark. I'm going to enter coordinates. Okay, I'm going to select. So we're north like that like that let's see and I'm just gonna go five 
one. Ted jumped up in the boat with me. That's the cat. <laughs> 